Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very powerful video of algebraic challenging equations, we are going to solve one very interesting quartic equation today. Equation is x power 4 plus 2x cube plus 7x square plus 6x equal to 7. So let's get started by considering all the terms to LHS. So I will write x power 4 plus 2x cube plus 7x square plus 6x minus 7 equal to 0. Now if you will observe this is x square whole square and second term if you will split then we can write 2 times x square times something that something must be x. So it looks like a square b square is missing twice ab is written. This is a square you can see this is 2ab so b square is required so b square that would be x square so that is the need of splitting 7x square in terms of x square plus 6x square so i will write x square plus 6x square that is 7x square and rest would be unchanged equal to 0 if I will consider, see it is b square, okay, plus sign. So I will consider these three terms all together. In that place, we can write it is x square plus x whole square. This is formation of quadratic, but not in x, in terms of x square plus x. Now what is left? See this is left. So I am going to consider 6 common from the next two terms. So I will write x square plus x and minus 7 equal to 0. Now this is quadratic equation in x square plus x. So that means we will give substitution. So let me write here our substitution x square plus x is equal to suppose t. So our equation will become t square plus 6t minus 7 equal to 0. Now this is quadratic equation. We can take help of quadratic formula. So I will write t is equal to minus b. So b is plus 6 minus b minus 6 plus minus square root b square. So 6 square minus 4ac. So it will become 4 times 7 divided by 2a. So 2 in next step will write minus 6 plus minus square root 36 plus 28. 4 times 7, 28 divided by 2a. So 2 it is there. 36 plus 28 that is 64. So I will write t is equal to minus 6 plus minus square root 64 over 2. So let me write here minus 6 plus minus square root 64 over 2. Remember our substitution was x square plus x equal to t. Okay. Now square root 64 is 8. We will write it is 8 over 2. So we can split minus 6 plus 8 over 2. We can write minus 6 minus 8 over 2. So t will become ultimately 2 over 2 or minus 14 over 2. So t is about 2, 1 and negative 7. These are our t values. Now remember what is t? This was our substitution. So I am going to put the value of t now. So t equal to 1. So I will write x square plus x equal to 1. And in second equation, we will write x square plus x equal to negative 7. Now we will frame two equations. And both will be quadratic. So let me write x square plus x minus 1 equal to 0. This is our first quadratic equation. And this one is second x square plus x plus 7 equal to 0. So I will solve both the equations. 
to find out our quartic solutions. So let me consider x square plus x minus 1 equal to 0. Again, we'll use quadratic formula, Shridharachar formula. x is equal to minus b, so minus 1 plus minus square root of b square. So let me write here b square minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 divided by 2a. So 2a is 1. So from here we can write minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 4 divided by 2. So from here we can conclude minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2. So there are two real solutions. First one is minus 1 plus square root 5 over 2 and second solution is minus 1 minus square root 5 over 2. Now we have to solve the second equation which was x square plus x plus 7 equal to 0. Again we will use quadratic formula help. So I will write x will become minus b minus 1 plus minus square root b square. So 1 is square minus 4 a and c divided by twice of 1. So here I can write minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 28 divided by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Okay. So minus 1 plus minus i, it is a square root of negative 7, negative 27. So I can write this one negative square root as minus 1 is equal to i. So this will become a square root of 27 over 2. Now 27 we can think about it is 9 times 3. So we can write this one as minus 1 plus minus i and this I will write 3 root 3 over 2. So ultimately we are having here two complex solutions. Let me write here equal to minus 1 plus i times 3 root 3 over 2 and second complex solution is minus 1 minus i times 3 root 3 over 2. This equation looks simple. If you convert that equation into quadratic in x square plus x. Okay. So we are having now finally four solutions. Let me show you here. First two solutions are real solution and the second set of two solutions which are complex in nature. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.